This is an excerpt of a webinar by Garrison Dental. Thank you to Garrison Dental for allowing us to post this excerpt. To see the full-length version, please contact www.garrisondental.com. All opinions are those of Straight Smile Solutions. We are an orthodontic consultancy company that helps general and pediatric dentists with their ortho cases and education. For help with a case, please visit www.straightsmilesolutions.com. Now, enjoy the show. masseters and low angle cases. Now I said, I'm not gonna go into the weeds about SAFs, I love SAFs, but um, these can be very, very tricky. And as orthodontists, we are trying to look at certain facial features and be like, mm, you know, stop light red, this might be a harder case than it looks like. For example, this patient right here, she's actually gonna, I haven't even seen her teeth, but I'm already scared to treat her because I know she's got crazy big masseters. And I know this is gonna be a difficult case because of that. It's going to be very tricky. We might wanna consider doing some dermal injections like masseter botox before we start or every three months again that can be expensive this is something that i did before i started doing my omt therapy regularly for jaw issues and things like that i didn't know i had so much jaw pain now i know why um but you can do this but it's it's a lot it's like 40 50 units per side at least so where i live if a dentist isn't doing it, you know, in your own practice, it's upwards of about a thousand dollars a session and you have to do it twice a year. It gets expensive. So um, be on the lookout, stay away from these cases, check for masseters. I have videos to learn how to check for masseters, um, the thickness, things like that. Learn to do um, Botox if you're already doing it. It's a great idea to bring it into your practice, even if you can only do intraoral Botox. I think it's really helpful. Great pain relief, highly recommend it, and it'll make your aligner case be more predictable in these types of cases. Um, by low angle, that's related to the SAF. We're talking about brachycephalic cases. You wouldn't know that unless, well, I mean, obviously I can see it from this patient if I looked at her from the side, but you wouldn't necessarily know without that data. So one of the ways that I cope with low angle cases or masseter cases is that I put on bite turbos. And I love, love, love bite turbos. If you work with me, you're probably sick of hearing about bite turbos. It is something that only came out a few years ago, but in ortho and in aligners, it's very helpful, but not all aligner companies have bite turbos. And without them on those low angle clenching masseter cases, it turns into a huge mass, a big poster open bite, and it's very, very, very difficult to fix. So you need to check and see if your aligner company has bite turbos. Now I figured out workarounds, how to get them on aligner companies that don't have them. It's just really difficult and they're not that good. So one thing I like about Invisaligns, again, I said I won't be promotional for a certain aligner company, is that they have different thicknesses of, of, and sizes and they, they make the bite turbo fit the case. So it always has worked out. Matter of fact, it is on every single case of mine it, as a default. Put bite turbos on every single case, take them off three aligners before the end, every single case, unless the patient has perio or short roots here or has an anterior open bite, obviously that's not gonna work. But it is a default on all my cases and if somehow it's a random one-off, I'll ask them not to put it on. Just a little tip, you'll love them. 